played in 2013 at PD Grand Prix tournament in Thessaloniki. This tournament, Caruana played uh, quite strong, sharing the second place with Gatakanski. And in overall, Caruana was very close to qualifying for the 2013 Candidates tournament in London, which, however, was won by Magnus Carlsen. After the opening moves, e4, e5, knight 3 knight c6, e4, e4, knight e4, knight e6, then e5. Black goes queen e7. You know already the reason why Black is doing this move. As uh, after bot, knight e4, knight e2. Knight takes d2, bishop takes d2. Why to choose some better position thanks to his superior bounce structure? So Black, Black main move, key move is queen e7. Now White goes queen to e2, knight e5, c4. And now back row chose the position continuation, knight to b6, avoiding the unbalanced position arising b3. And now either a castle long on g6. Uh, you can check my suggestions how to meet this in the advanced opening preparation video. Now we go back to knight b6, played by back row. And we can buy knight c3, you want to play the best move. And back is at the crossroads. Queen to e6, this is the move which, uh, as well as my opening choice when I play black. Uh, the queen steps aside, giving the air for the bishop to go to the dream square b4, feeling the knight. And there is a couple of a more moves, interesting. Bishop to b7. My suggestion here to meet is bishop to d2, after castle long, castle long, rook to e8. We have a rook e1, defending the pound, and black goes queen to b4, f6, or bishop to a6. And this is an amazing position when uh, white can go queen to e4, uh, defending against both continuations, both uh, threats, with f6. Now white has an amazing option. Take, he takes f6, sacrificing his queen, rook e4, knight to e4. Uh, attacking the queen, there is only one square, queen a4. Now white is winning back with knight to c3, with double threat, attacking the queen and threatening rook eight mate. So f6 is a uh, bit impossible, as you see. And after bishop a6 move, there is a, a typical tactic rising. White goes c5, a double attack, the queen takes c4, there is bishop a6 check, queen to peace. Another interesting move, which you already seen, leading to very pleasant consequences after knight e4. If you need to you can refresh your memory, checking the video about the Mises variation, it gives white a tremendous pressure. So now we understand the best move is probably queen to e6. Which uh, now Caruana played queen to e4 as well, preparing the development of the bishop to d3, centralizing the queen. To which black responds bishop to b4, killing the knight. Black is preparing. We move d5 when white queen is undefended. But there is one more option now when the queen is on e4 and the e4 square is occupied. Black can go safe to g6 and attacking the e5 pawn. And it appears that after the natural continuation, bishop g7, white has c5. We move c5 and after knight d5, bishop to c4 is white a good option to build the pressure. Now this is the pawn sacrifice, but if black accepts that after the long castle, uh, black is much behind in development and white has a strong attack. So we go back to the game. Bishop to b4. Carolina. Bishop to d2 blocking the pin. Black continue. Bishop a6 attacking the pawn to which a respond. Aviano Carolina responded with b3. And black takes. This is a theoretical continuation. Black is giving up his uh, very important dark square bishop, but he's looking for a way to activate his other bishop on a6. And after bishop to c3, black goes d5. Actually, this move is a uh, winning the pawn, but this seems to, to be not a big deal for white as black queen side pawns are tripled there after d takes c4. And white's most important issue in this line is to respect black concert playing the center and somehow to complete his development. So queen h4. Black takes the pound, he takes c4. Now, a very important move is rook to c1. Defending the bishop in case of knight d5. White will be in a better position after bishop c4. Queen takes c4. And now white is restoring the material equality, keeping some pressure against black double pounds on the c file. After this, uh, Bakro played another theoretical move, very strong. Queen to g6. Busy with defending the g2 pound. And what should white play? Ivana came up with a very important number of He played the move g3. Of course, when you look at this move, you think, oh, what can be more simple than that? Well, this move has an obvious drawback. Drawbacks. After castle short, white king's position might become vulnerable to an attack along the a8 h1 diagonal. Black goes castle short. Bishop to e2, rook d8, taking the open file, and white castle short. We go c5, also very strong move, restricting the, the bishop, the c3 bishop, and preparing to build the battery on the long diagonal with bishop b7, then b3 to c6. Everyone goes rook e1, activating the rook, and after bishop b7, uh, he played a very important move, bishop to g4, threatening b6, after which opening the diagonal is uh, giving quite a very strong attack. Now after bishop g4, back played queen to c6, but maybe there is a simple defense f3. How to stop the move e6? Bakro played the move bishop c8. And I think that his entire strategy was based on this move, aiming to block the e5 pound by the bishop and keeping the dangerous dark square bishop away from the king's side. But here, I want to continue with a very strong thematical move. e6. This move is almost deciding the game because there is no defense of the threats on the long diagonal. And after black to f take e6, because bishop take e6 is even worse. Uh, there is a very strong sacrifice, rook take e6, f take e6, and now after queen e7. And uh, there is no, no way to defend with e5. There is bishop e6 check, king h8. The mate is approaching. Uh, so, after f 6 the only move, Caruana went queen to e7. And from this point of the game, he didn't allow any more of his opponent to restore the defense and to only 43 moves. Let me now resume what we have learned from this game. In the misses variation of the Scotch, Black smartly avoided the main line with bishop a6, as his opponent was no one else but the world number one opening expert, Fabiano Caruana. After some calm opening moves, White emerged with a bishop pair and a better pass structure, but to fight for advantage, White should play very carefully, restricting first his opponent's active pieces. And for this reason, Caruana played rook c1, then g3. And started his attack only after the political development. Soon he has uh, got a nice opportunity to launch, launch an attack with the move e6, avoiding the block on the e6 square. And I think at this point the game was already decided as Black couldn't stop the, his attack. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you soon.
Nope. Nope. Huh? Bruh. Nope. 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 Stop it. Get some help. Bruh. Nope. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Huh? Get some help. Nope. 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 